Well, 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 well. You know, I do believe on my, uh, whatever game we played after the Cowboys game, I do believe I said in that upload, you know, a shout out to CJ Smooth. I do believe I said in that video, hey, Lions fans, don't trip. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Karma is not done with the Cowboys. Y'all remember I said them words? Now, when I said the words, I said the words hoping that we would be their karma. <laughs> Man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about the Lions later, y'all. Lions ain't going nowhere. But we know the Cowboys ain't going nowhere for shizzle. But what else is new, right? That shit crazy, bro. And don't get me wrong. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Yeah, we are. Man, the whole country thought the Cowboys was going to beat the Packers. Hell, they were supposed to beat the Packers. Didn't quite go that way, though, did it? Y'all got y'all asses whomped. Fucking your asses whoop. Y'all got y'all asses whomped. <laughs> Mike McCarthy, your days is probably numbered. You're stuck with Dak. Well, no, they ain't stuck with Dak. But can you really afford to let Dak go? I mean, you got, got Cooper Rush. <laughs> got Trey Lance. <laughs> I got to say, bro, I've been enjoying the hell out of Undisputed. And I love hearing the playmaker. Playmaker talk about his team. <laughs> Michael Irvin so animated, but Mike was filming. And I agree with you, Sherman. If they would have let Michael Irvin in the locker room that night, Michael Irvin would, they probably would have jumped Irvin because Irvin would have tried to fight each and every last one of them dudes. I mean, look, man, it's like this, bro. Okay, you lost the playoff game. Now, if that happens, you weren't supposed to lose like that, though. And I'm not even talking shit. Just because my team is still playing, thankfully. So ain't got nothing to do with that. Y'all the perennial Super Bowl favorites. We ain't favored to make no damn Super Bowl. We've already overachieved. We've already overachieved. You know, we came in and did exactly what we set out to do. We set out to win the division. Yeah, we were trying to get the number one seed. That didn't great, which I'm kind of glad, actually. We don't need no more pressure on us. We got Joe out of the number two seed. We clearly should have had a 13 and 4 season. Sorry, Broner. <laughs> but it's all right, though. Because you know how I see how the stars align? See how the stars align? No pun intended. No pun intended. Fuck that. Hey, Dallas. Y'all see how the stars align? Y'all robbed us out of our two seed, and it kind of worked out. Because we got two home games. We still get another home game this week. So it kind of leveled itself out. Look, man, because y'all don't see y'all cheat with nobody else. Stop cheating when you play in the Lions. Play football. Y'all always got to, every other game, y'all got to cheat or do some bullshit to beat us. That's a bad look. That's a terrible look. Y'all got to cheat to beat a horrible franchise. Now we pulling that shit with the Eagles. Y'all don't pull that shit with the Niners. Y'all don't pull that shit with the Chiefs. Hell, y'all ain't even pulling that shit with the Giants, even though y'all dominant over them right now. Damn, Michael Parsons, did you even play? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I seen D. Lawrence getting hustled. <laughs> and Dak and CD, well, y'all been on the same page all year, up until that game. how that happen? That is crazy. And Dak even did something he ain't did in eons. Threw a pick six. He threw two picks, but one of them was a pick six. Actually, both of them should have been pick sixes. Even though I hate the Packers, shout out to Jair Alexander. He's a good player. I don't know if he's going to be there next year, but he's a good player. And yeah, we're going to talk about Jordan Love later too, because one pride fans, <laughs> we got problems moving forward. I hate to say it. The Pack is back. But that's a, that's a later video right now. I'm getting my shit in on the Cowboys. <laughs> I know I kind of I drifted off for a second. 
Hey, they had a meme on Undisputed this morning, dog. Y'all remember them Cool Ranch? Y'all know the Cool Ranch Doritos? Remember the big grab bags back in the day? <laughs> they had a bag. They had some Cool Ranch Doritos with Dak on the cover. It <laughs> say, not show year again. <laughs> Doritos, nachos, that cowboys, nacho year again. Because y'all say that every fucking year. So I ask y'all, I'm going to leave y'all with this question, man. Those y'all that view this, hit me in the comments. What was the bigger choke, Dallas or Philly? Yeah, y'all can say Philly because they should have won a division. Okay, whatever, but come on now. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that. Yeah, Philly was the choke. But I'm going to say Dallas. And I think even Cowboys fans are starting to see the light now. And some of y'all Cowboys fans is really taking the fun out of this, man. Seriously. I need y'all to talk the delusional dumb shit y'all always talk. Y'all are taking the fun out of this. Now everybody want to come down to reality and start snapping on their team, as they should. If I was a Cowboys team, I probably would have jumped shit by now. I, I, I probably would root up if I was a... Oh, so Texas, I probably would be a Houston, Texas fan. <laughs> Keep it real with And I can't wait to, oh, I can't wait to CJ Stroud come down there next year. He going to bust y'all ass. <laughs> CJ Stroud going to bust y'all ass next year. And I can't wait to see it in y'all building, Jerry's Playhouse. Well, your winning streak is still intact for the regular season, but I don't think that's going to hold up either. So the bottom line, it's always a beautiful day when the Cowboys fail. <laughs> Mediocre team in Big D. <laughs> That's what makes this funny. <laughs> How about them Cowboys? <laughs> How about them Cowboys? Some way, somehow, when it counts, they will let you down. Accident, they gonna let it up this way. The accident, they gonna let you down this way. Accident waiting, accident waiting, accident waiting to happen. I predicted they would be straight irrelevant. <laughs> they even brought the remix. <laughs> so in the words of Southern Steve, how do? <laughs> Hey, pride the fuck up. Yeah, the moral of the story, Karma ain't got no picks. Yeah, pun intended. You threw two of them, Dak. Karma ain't got no picks. 